In this video, we are going to recreate one of Herbert's iconic images shot in a natural light rooftop studios in LA. Herbert's shoots usually took place in the afternoons as he loved the golden hour light. His signature style was placing the model in direct sunlight against a white background and creating shadows on it. We set up our shot at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon when suddenly it got so cloudy that we couldn't get any shadows. So we achieved this look by placing a bare speed light in the same angle and direction the way the sunlight was supposed to fall on the model. Herb Ritz preferred simplicity and although his lighting was never too complicated, the key to his look was his great sense of style and geometric composition. He could make both men and women look like beautiful sculptures. So this is the image that we'll be working on. My workflow usually starts with the body shaping. I'm going to choose the rectangular marquee tool, make a selection around her waist, hit layer copy to copy the selection to a new layer and click on warp. And from the center, I'll very gently tuck it in. Now, instead of merging down, I'll click on merge new, which will merge it to a new layer. I'm going to do the same for the boot. I'm going to merge all these layers to a new layer and call it shaping and delete all these previous layers as they are no longer needed. Next is skin retouching and step 1 is healing. Her skin is flawless and since there is no spots or marks to heal, I could have just skipped this step and moved on to the step 2 and choose the full body skin smoothing option. Ok, so the brush tool and the settings are pre-selected by the panel and the main area that needs a bit of smoothing are the underarms. So I'm going to smooth it out first with a gentle brush stroke and then hit the fade tool to get the opacity where I want. I'm also going to very softly brush over other parts of her skin. The third step is color dodge and burn, where I'm going to take care of color transitions. I use a slightly darker mid-tone skin color when painting on shadows and a slightly lighter mid-tone if I'm painting over burnt out highlights. The fade tool comes in very handy to get a perfect blend. Alright, although I like this image in color, her bridge images were usually silver gelatin tone black and white prints. So I'm going to click on the black and white S curve to convert it. Next I'll click on the silver gelatin tone and adjust the opacity slightly. Silver gelatin prints usually have a slight warm greenish tint to them and this method was popularly used by photographers like Richard Avedon and Patrick Demarchelier as well. I've lost all the oily shine on the skin. I'm going to bring it back by first clicking on merge new to merge everything to a new layer and then go to select, color range and sample the brightest highlight on the skin. I'm going to adjust the fuzziness and check the preview of how much shine I want and click ok. Next I'm going to create an empty new layer and fill it with white. Now I'm going to create an inverted mask by pressing alt or option and clicking on the create mask icon. Now I'll choose the brush tool with a white color and paint to reveal the shine only in the areas I want. And then adjust the opacity of the layer. Finally, I'm going to click on dodge for some final touches and to emphasize the shine. And here is the before and the final conversion. As always, you can download this PSD file from the link below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.